Hey everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching my Giga Texas construction update video. So I'm out of Giga Texas today on the 20th of July. This is the second quarter financial results meeting today. It'll be held just a little bit south of me here at Giga Texas. So make sure you don't uh, miss that. It'll be at about uh, 1630 Central Daylight Time and or 2130 UTC. So make sure you check that out on Tesla Investor Relations website. For today, I've got a few things I just want to cover in the intro. We start on the southwest side across the road and we take a look at more of the water management uh, development that they're doing on that side near River Road. Also, I have heard that there is some new construction beginning on that side of the road and we take a look at uh, what may possibly be that area. Then we come back over and take a look at uh, the south end, a lot more model Ys. Also saw car carriers uh, on the highway taking model Ys away from Giga Texas. So that's another great sign. Come up to the north end and I give you a really good look at the irrigation system that's being installed. Then we go over to the battery cathode plant and just amazing progress continues over there. There are only three footings away from the north perimeter grade beam, which means probably in the next two to three days, certainly by the end of this week, the steel structure will be completed. Then we go over to the north electrical substation construction area and I have some news that I'd like to go over. Um, some things that I've been able to confirm recently and some general layout of how that area will look. So I'll put that in the main video, but as a spoiler, here is just an overall picture of the area with some markings showing where the Megapack battery electric storage system will be and the main permanent electrical substation. So watch the video and get more information. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Again, don't forget the second quarter financial results later today, and uh, I hope you enjoy the video. My drones are ready and raring to go. Let's go flying over Giga Texas. So what a beautiful sunrise over Giga, Texas to start off this Wednesday afternoon ahead of the second quarter financial results meeting. I'm starting on this side of the highway because I want to show you this activity just south of River Road and this is part of the water management system on this side of the highway. I've uh, recently been given some information that uh, there is a high priority on this area to get this completed. And that's why we're seeing a lot of the activity now. And the main reason why is there is rumor of some sort of construction getting ready to begin on this side of the highway. So they need to make sure uh, this is completed. And uh, as you can see, a lot of activity on the south side of River Road so that they can manage the water. Just behind the drone is the Colorado River, so it's extremely close to that uh, uh, river area. And uh, here we're at the far southwest corner, and you can see that work on this uh, part of the water management system as well. So as we pan back towards Giga Texas, uh, we're going to fly up across these hills and ponds that are remaining from the uh, old gravel mining uh, activities that used to be here. But uh, what I want to show you uh, is two things. One, the main storage area, and we'll do a low pass over there in just a second. But second is you can see this road here that uh, is uh, being uh, sprayed with water and moving up towards an area that is starting to be cleared. This may be part of that uh, rumored area where construction may be beginning. So I'm going to continue to monitor that uh, as we go. But uh, here's a good close look and flyby of the material storage on this side of the highway. And uh, just uh, you can take a look at all the various parts and equipment and uh, um, some are to be used again. Uh, maybe those bases for the light poles. 
Others are equipment that uh, we've seen being moved into the main building, including the Ingle uh, plastics uh, injection molding machinery and uh, a variety of other parts. Uh, you can also see um, here the activity on this new clearing area. And again, this may be related to what I'm hearing as far as new construction beginning. There's also been some reports of new permits for construction at Giga Texas. This may be part of that, but I've also been told of some additional areas that we might see uh, some uh, land clearing and preparation for construction soon. And we'll get into that a little bit at the end of the video. So here we're flying south to north along the west side of the main building and I want to give you uh, just an overall view of how the roof area with all the solar panels appears now and that widening section near the T and we'll get a closer look and uh, a little bit later in the video but they continue to expand that area to the north so that whole area will be filled out with solar panels. I also wanted to show you this. This is a, another car carrier. Um, it's pulled off on the side of the road after just departing Giga Texas. This is more model wise getting ready for delivery. And as you can see, uh, they're definitely uh, all loaded up and ready to head to the south, maybe towards San Antonio. So here we've crossed the highway and we're looking at some of the northwest corner area. You can see some of that uh, dirt that's been filled out for uh, some of the irrigation system and new planting. And here you can see crews uh, installing more of the irrigation system and plants uh, heading towards the uh, west berm area and they'll continue to work towards the south along the roadway and uh, replacing all these temporary pipes that you see on the berm that are used currently for the irrigation. So I'm going to go ahead and fly down the length of this uh, building and you can again see the progress on the road and the markings and how it looks uh, much more permanent, much more completed. Uh, still waiting for the light poles to be installed, but uh, unlike what they used to have with those cyber truck uh, shaped bases, it now looks like the entire area is flat across, so that may have been a decision to change away from those concrete bases. But here's how the main entrance area looks right now, and you can see the uh, crosswalk for pedestrians, a very large one painted right across from it. So crossing over the uh, cyber pond, we'll take a look at this uh, material and steel storage area. And uh, you can see a lot more materials just uh, waiting for movement to other parts of the construction site. Um, and uh, it just also seems like more and more of this is being stockpiled here. Uh, and it continues to grow and just overall the amount of materials. Uh, the fabrication shops that you can see right off to the uh, front and coming off to the right of the video continue to be there. And you can see that the crane is getting uh, ready for uh, resumed work today. Also looking at this platform, it used to be a cantilever platform, which means it had an extension to it. And that has been cut off, so now it is just a square platform. So again, I'm curious to see where this is going to be installed. You can also see more work on the dirt area uh, here right in front of the drone. And again, I'm trying to figure out what this will be. As I pan to the left, I'll show you how the uh, painting work has uh, progressed. 
This may in fact be another large scale test as far as colors are concerned. And later in the video, I'll show you those uh, test panels on the east side have actually been removed from the trailer. So they may be using this as a, a, another way of seeing how that uh, paint scheme may work. And now as I pan further to the left, you can see the amount of Model Ys a lot in that parking area. Many have been moved over to the uh, uh, area where the trucks would pick them up. I estimate probably about 100 or so Model Ys ready for transport at this point in time, and another about uh, two to 300 on the parking area waiting for movement to the uh, uh, transport area. We also see more activity uh, moving uh, equipment and uh, doing like a, a kind of a small ramp on the ground floor here underneath the uh, uh, platform. And we also see uh, the Model Ys uh, getting supercharged and uplit, updated underneath those red tents. And uh, this area where they're excavating, I believe this is actually an extended supercharger station. And I will show you later on on the east side, there's um, about 12 more superchargers that are ready to be installed. And this is most likely the location that they will be going. So this southwest and south portion of General Assembly will be a supercharging area for new vehicles. So from this vantage point, you can see how that painted uh, corner looks. You can see that uh, dirt area with getting more uh, fill into that uh, and it's building up the grade again. And then here is that directional drilling uh, area where it looks like crews are just uh, still working on the machinery and uh, doing preparation for the eventual pipe pull through this area. But uh, we're going to continue to the north. I want to show you the progress here at the temporary platform and that excavation area uh, again where they're going to be adding on more cargo uh, doors and a loading ramp. But overall you can just kind of see the activity levels that are going on in this particular area now. Uh, still looks like they're doing some plumbing work near that roll-up door but it also looks like they're starting to backfill in on top of the uh, plumbing work that they've uh, completed, specifically on that south end of that dirt area. So as we approach the secondary entrance area, I want to show you some significant progress that's going on. First of all, the crate that you see on the left next to those two trucks, that is at least some of the glass that will be installed for this particular area. So that's great to see that that has arrived. You can also see that some of the concrete uh, area, the landing area in front of this uh, entrance has been uh, uh, worked on which is great and we also see crews that are working on the framing for the doors and the glass and uh, um, it's again great to see that this particular progress is being made and that the glass is present for the crews to install. So as we pull back towards the east, you can see the work on the southeast corner of that main parking area. Most of the trenching is being filled back in, so we should see paving and then uh, light post based, uh, bases installed. We also see the activity here with all of the trailers in the yard area. Again, a lot, and this directly is proportional to the production rate and all the equipment and uh, trailers uh, next to that area as well. And then now as we approach the battery cathode plant, uh, you can just see how much work has been completed. Uh, the 
building itself is about 90% skeleton is completed and uh, quite a bit of that roof and floor decking as you can see has been installed. This tent also now has the door installed on that sort of loading area on the east side and we also see air conditioning units as well so this suggests that people will be inside working on uh, uh, either equipment or uh, uh, maybe it's offices or, or something else but uh, the tent is definitely operational. But here you can see the length of the building. It is only three footing squares away from the north perimeter gray beam. That's where those orange dividers are and right where the, the crane is. So the way they're going and the pace they are going, uh, by the end of this week, this will definitely be skeleton uh, completed. And uh, that's about a week ahead of the original target schedule, which is great to see. I also like to just point out the size of the people walking at the base near the uh, cranes and the man lift. Uh, there's been some people that have been a little bit disappointed that this is such a small facility. Uh, I think if you look at the people, you'll see that this is actually much larger than you would imagine. And uh, it uh, will have quite a bit of uh, space inside to do what they need to for the uh, battery uh, cathode lithium hydroxide production. But here is some more of the workers and crews installing some of the steel beams. I uh, again am just uh, amazed at the the work that they do, the speed that they go, and, and the uh, nerves of steel that they have to uh, install the beam and then walk right across it and then have uh, the crane lower down these huge and extremely heavy pieces right on top of your head and then uh, moving them over and in this case spinning them around to get them oriented the right way uh, while you're walking on a beam that was just installed. So again, really amazing. But uh, uh, I hope that you appreciate the work that these uh, people do. Um, these are some of the same people that installed the steel at uh, Giga Texas's main factory. So uh, uh, it's amazing just to see that the work they're doing and uh, they've just done an outstanding job. So I'm going to pan a little bit more towards the south as we fly along the west side of the building and give you a closer look at the plumbing installation. Now I've heard some people speculating that this may actually be maybe an outside tank area, possibly uh, for chemicals or other components that are necessary for the uh, lithium hydroxide production effort. That may in fact be the case as you can see how the pipes are arranged. And I think that's uh, probably as good a guess as any with the information that we have right now. I thought I would come over to this area to show you what has happened with those test wall panels. You can see they've been removed from the trailer and put on the ground. I think this is an indication that they've kind of served their purpose and now the painting that we see on the southeast corner of stamping is the next test panel, if you will. So uh, we'll have to see if that is in fact the case. Also here are the superchargers that I mentioned. These are the prefabricated units and I believe these will be installed on the southwest corner of General Assembly as we discussed earlier in the video. Now we're approaching the southeast corner of the large parking lot. You can see that most of the trenches have now started being filled back in, which is an indication that the electrical conduit has been run. The next things we should start seeing is the light pole bases being poured and also repaving some of the area uh, to uh, complete this and then we'll see light poles be installed around the entire parking lot soon. So as we approach the new permanent electrical substation area, I have some news items and updates I'd like to go over. First of all, uh, I've confirmed that the water detention pond that we've seen being constructed uh, just up to the north uh, area by the clearing is in fact what that is and all of these stormwater pipes will be for that. They're currently waiting for the final permits to begin the installation of those stormwater pipes. 
Also, this particular area here will most likely be an entrance area along this main road that's being constructed. Right now, they're waiting for the LCRA, which is the Lower Colorado River Authority, to uh, finalize their plans and begin the construction of the uh, permanent electrical substation. Also, you can see here, this is the water detention pond that we're flying uh, along here, and this is where those stormwater pipes will be connected to. And that uh, area that we saw constructed uh, along that road uh, that you can see where that main entrance is and you can kind of see how that would uh, appear. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an overlay here of the main sites and show you where the electrical substation will be and the rough area and also how that triangular area is going to be made more rectangular and that will be where the Megapack or the battery electric storage uh, system will be installed and you'll be able to see how both of these will be uh, installed right next to each other and uh, the two areas will be almost joined but uh, there'll be two different uh, facilities. One is the electrical substation and the other is the battery backup station or the mega pack. And another piece of news that I have uh, recently heard is that uh, there will be another construction area beginning north of this area. I'm not exactly sure where north this is going to be, but uh, we should see in the coming uh, several weeks another uh, area starting to be cleared. And uh, I don't know what that particular facility will be, but uh, uh, at least, counting the battery cathode plant, at least three separate structures uh, outside of the main factory should be under construction soon. The other thing I want to show you here is I'm approaching this sort of pit with the conduit. I believe I think that this is the conduit that uh, connects to the solar panels on the roof and will connect to the battery electric storage system or the mega pack. These conduits run under the road and go to that corner of the uh, casting machine structure and would be a perfect area to connect to the solar panels. And now that we've crossed over Tesla Road, I want to show you the progress on the irrigation system for all of the landscaping up here in the north area. You can see here some of the dirt piles they, where they've been doing some excavation work or they're underway and uh, how this area will look once all the irrigation system is installed. As we move further to the west, we'll fly over the cyber berm and you can see the irrigation system crews doing trenching and that uh, purple treated water pipe that they are installing. And you can also see some of the uh, trenches going up to where the plants are currently installed. And this gives you an idea. It's uh, Cleanscapes is the company that is doing the irrigation system. And as we pan around or fly around this uh, northwest corner area, this gives you a pretty good idea of how that landscaping and the irrigation system uh, looks uh, presently. And uh, there's that large dirt area you see. And uh, I would imagine that we're going to see uh, more planting there, possibly grass or some other uh, feature to just sort of make this area look uh, nice and presentable. I've been told that this north area and then the whole west area is the primary concern to be landscaped and uh, have the best possible appearance for Giga Texas. And that kind of makes sense because this wraps around the west side to the main entrance. Now I'm going to be flying up to the top of the roof here to show you not only the progress on the HVAC ducting and enclosure work, but also, you can see the solar panel installation now is uh, continuing to work towards the north from the T of Tesla. And you can see a lot of the mounts that are now being installed in a new area, expanding the solar panel installation even further. And you can see how close this is to the enclosures for the HVAC ducting on the top of the battery cell roof. And uh, I've asked, I've had uh, viewers ask about, uh, is it true that the uh, racks are just held on with bricks? And the answer is yes. This is how the company Unirack specifies and recommends for the mounts to be installed. And uh, I know some people are concerned about high winds damaging the solar panels, but uh, 
Uh, I would think that uh, they have a pretty good handle for how to install the solar panels and uh, this is the solution that they've chose to use. So now that we're on the north end, I'm going to drop back down and show you some deliveries here at the paint shop, those green items. Also, just to the left at that stamping, uh, the casting machine structure, I saw crates that were delivered as I began my flight, but by the time I got back here, they'd already been moved inside. But uh, those green packages here are more components uh, for paint shop. I've heard recently that uh, another uh, oven for the uh, paint curing process is being installed inside uh, the paint shop and those may be components for that new oven. So anyway, uh, this is how Giga Texas appeared today, the 20th of July. And this again is the second quarter results meeting. So make sure you check that out. And uh, I hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching.